All right, we're back with the GT500 doing some, uh, well, markers. We got LED markers. This side we got to take out, pop this side out, and I'll show you guys how to do this. Um, my buddy made them. CJ, it's like basically the same setup CJ Pony Parts has, or other marker, you know, markers for these sides. I also, I also got the front. I haven't done those yet. We'll get around to it. For now, we're gonna do the rear. Don't mind this thing. It's a little loud, a little chilly in here. Just trying to keep it warm. And uh, yeah, let's get on it. difference here and I'll show you I gotta get in, get in there just be careful because you know I'm using this usually we want to use a plastic one I can't find my plastic one for the life of me just enough I think that'd be good right there So now I'm just gonna squeeze this a little bit, pop it off, and I'll get to there. I wonder if I can just do it right here. It's hard to do while we'll holding this. But yeah, we're gonna squeeze here, pop this off, I'll be right back. All right, there we go, squeezed it, popped it off. We gotta turn this. We're gonna use, reuse this one. So I think we turn it, yeah, we just turn it. That should pop out with the bulb. Take the bulb out. Hold on here, guys. I don't know if I can do Maybe? Uh, there we go. Sorry if it is loud, like I said. We're gonna plug these two wires that you guys see right here that came on the back of the LED. The strip right here. Plug them into where your light bulb went. Because this side we're gonna reuse. So we're gonna plug this into here. I don't think I can do this one hand. I'll bring it back. All right, now that we have that done, ball's right there, wire's plugged in. We're gonna reuse this side to plug right back into here. It should be like that. Bring it this way. Those are done. Now I just gotta get around to the front, which might be a little bit more of a pain. I'm probably gonna have to go up underneath the bumper and take some things apart just to reach those ones. Ah, anyway, let's get to that. All right, here we are. It's the next day. I ran into a few things I had to do tomorrow, so I couldn't finish up. The back are done. We're doing the front. There goes the heater. All right, we got this side done. I didn't take off the full front clip because eventually we'll be doing some other things. So I want to kind of get used to how to take this all off without issues. I know some people take off the whole bumper to do these side markers. I don't think I want to do that. And eventually I want to see the heat exchanger issues, not issues, but how to tackle that. I mean, most likely we're going to be taking off the whole bumper too, but this side's done. Looks nice. Keep in mind this is going to be amber still. And um, yeah, let's knock out the other side. These should be two 10 mil like little lock nuts, like kind of a lock style. You'll see what I mean when I get to the other side. Behind here, you should be using a 10 mil, and um, that should knock those out, and this should just pop right out. So as we go on this side, I'll show you guys. We'll get up underneath here. I got 10 mil over here, a little longer one. I need it longer, that's what she said. Because they are a little, like, you know, kind of stick out in the back here a little bit. Use that long 10 mil, and boom, you should be able to pop those out, and then, the marker should pop out the other side. Pretty, fairly easy. All right, here we go. All right, see if you guys can see. I'm using this for now to get up in here just to loosen it up. It's kind of tough to work in here like this, but once you loosen up, I loosen up this side already, the left side, we're on the right side right now, well, from my angle. And once we loosen these up a little bit, I should be able to just take this off. 
and then pop in there like that. Get off. There we go. We're gonna land on my phone. It did land on the phone. All right, we're gonna take this back on here by hand. And they as well just come right off, or it should. This one's having some issues. Yo, Fiega. All right, let me go. I've got the sign off. There we go. All right, guys, as you can see, I got both sides off. Pushed it out. It now comes out on this side. And here we are. All right. Took this off. Now we're basically going to loosen this up and pop it out like that. There we go. Sorry, guys. There's the bulb. Take the bulb out. We will connect this in where the bulb is. So. I know you're not supposed to touch these by hand, but whatever, right? We're not going to be using that. And then this, where the bulb was, this will go into, boom. Well, I missed it. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Like that. So, plugged it in where the bulb was. Kick this aside. I don't want to scuff it or scratch it. And then basically this is going to be plugging right back into your stock harness. Boom, clipped right in. What do you know? I felt so great. I felt it. I felt all of it. All right, put this back in here, being careful here. And then uh, by hand, I'm gonna screw those in the back all the way as far as I can tight, and then just use that one 10 mil by hand. It should be fine. You don't really need to have to have the socket itself, so. <sighs> Unless you really want to, we can go tighter. I just have a thing about going too tight. Yeah, yeah, we'll be all right though. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's back this up a little bit. There it is. Woo! Looking good. I know some people say, oh, you should have went clear, da 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 da. They probably will, who knows. But I want to go amber, just not to mess with the, the low. So amber colored or yellowish, whatever you want to call it, orangish. Whatever fits your taste, really. It looks really good. Just really looks weird without that on. So, I'm going to get that front clip back on, tie this thing up, and the markers will be done. It seems so easy to do that, then you start digging into, oh crap, all this other, yeah. It sucks, but it's not too bad. Alright, there she is, tied up, good to go, everything works. Nice. Alright guys. I have everything just about done. I got to wrap up the rest of the corner on the other side, the side clip over here. Because it is, uh, we got one bottom, like, lip that's up underneath the car. Then we got three sections. This is the third section right here that pops up into here. Three bolts. And then um, this, I can't remember how many bolts are in here. But yeah, it's like three sections. One, two, and three. Once I tie that up, we're Gucci. Don't listen to that. <laughs> But we're done. We'll be we'll wrap this all up. This is basically it. The side markers are good. So let's just finish up this car and maybe see a final uh clip. Alright, guys. We are back. Finished. All done. Front lip on. Looking glorious. Look at the side markers. Nice. Looks good. Real good. Got a bunch of stuff coming, so stay tuned for a lot of that stuff. She do be looking good. All right, guys, stay tuned for more stuff in the future. If you love it and you like it, even the car, may not have to be me, but maybe the car, subscribe. And, we, hey, we got more coming. We got giveaways as well. Keep that in mind. If you subscribe, you've got to be subscribed, though, to win those giveaways. And stay tuned. Later.